What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. Welcome back to my next episode of the United States of Joe Winko. It's been a long time since I've done an episode, but i really been wanting to get this whole empty space of Canada filled up so I can move on and start heading west for the United States of Joe Winko, <laughs> because that's what I'm going to be doing soon, because I almost got the whole entire east side filled up. So the winner of last episode's trivia question was James Jansma, and he's going to be the mayor of this city right here, and this city is going to be called, uh, let me double check, what would that area be? Oh, Barry's Bay, that's what it would be. All right, so he's going to be the mayor of this city right here, and it's going to be called Barry's Bay. It's going to be a small town, though. It's not going to be very big. So, first things first, got to add a ton of trees. That brings the environment need up. Well, how many times do I have to explain that? If you guys have been watching United States Joe Winko long enough, you should know. <laughs> Been doing this since early 2017. Gosh. And I'm still not even halfway through with the map yet. Damn, there's a river here? It's right on the border, too. How am I going to have them cross and go north? I'll figure it out. Apparently, the people on the SimCity 4 section of Reddit really like the stuff I do in SimCity 4. I mean, whenever I post, like, a mod, like a picture of a mod I made there, everyone's always really impressed with it. So, the SimCity 4 section of Reddit, it's really the nicest section of Reddit, really. Alright, Berries Bay. And congratulations to James Gansma for becoming the mayor of Berries Bay. Just make sure to answer the trivia question correctly, who is ever watching this right now, so you can become the mayor of my next city, which is going to be somewhere in that space I just showed you guys. So let me build the road. This is Canadian Highway 3. I want it to go all the way... Shit. Did not mean to do that. Let me double check one thing. Okay, that seems like a good exit for it. How do I do that? Are you kidding me? It's not letting me build a ramp? Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to... Oh, wait a sec, I almost forgot. I need to put down the money trees. How the hell could I forget that? I actually did forget that one time in Ocean City, Maryland. That didn't go good. Need to make sure not to do that again. Alright, so let me continue... Wait, hold on, I know how I was going to do this. Level, Terrian, or Terrain, whatever you want to call it. It's too hilly, that's the problem. How am I going to build this highway going that way? Oh, that's how. Now I just need to make it turn. Shit, that didn't go well. Yeah, this is harder than it looks. Alright, is there a way I could just... Let me just tear it all that down. Oops, I accidentally tore down some of the trees too. So I need to make this road be able to turn. Oh yeah, this is working. Oh, okay, it was working. 
And now I just need to make it so it winds in. Nope, that's not close enough. Right, nope, that's not either. Damn, how... Oh, come on. Eh, obviously isn't the first time I had this issue. Okay, now I got it. Awesome. Let me save. That alone was a lot of hard work. Okay, so we got the highway done. Next, we need to connect the roads. I know there's no city to the east of this yet. I think it's just to the west. Yeah, it's just to the west, because to the west of this is the city of, um, what was it called? Gravenhurst. <laughs> wonder how long ago I built that. I know it was pretty recently since it's a Canadian city. Then access to the interstate. And a road leading down there. Another long road going... No, don't want to build tunnels. Um... Well, I'm really glad that I wasn't killed by Hurricane Dorian. I was actually going to make a video, a YouTube video about that. Yeah, Hurricane Dorian didn't make a direct hit to Florida, as you guys probably know if you've been following the hurricanes and everything. Well, if you've been following my fan page, you would know how worried I was about it. I wasn't really that worried. Everyone kept telling me to calm down, but how can you judge someone's emotions just from someone's post? I mean, seriously. And people were telling me, you were freaking out because of it. Freaking out? You didn't see me freaking out. I was just typing a bunch of stuff about how I'm worried about it online. And I was worried about it, I'm not gonna lie. The reason why I was worried is because I was worried it would cross in, uh, it would cross over the state of Florida. Then once it hits the water by near where I live, it would re-strengthen. Could still cause quite a bit of damage, really, if, it, if that would have occurred. Luckily, it didn't. I don't like hurricanes. I mean, they're interesting, but I'd be better off without them. Well, who wouldn't be better off without them? Seriously. So is that everything? I think that's all the roads. Yeah, because we're not going to be adding much to the city at all. As I said earlier, it's just going to be a small town that's probably only going to take me like a few more minutes to build. I just want to make sure I have the, cr the roads connected good. I have some ideals on how I could make these more efficient. shit. <laughs> That's stupid. Didn't add an... It only had exit ramps. Whatever. Can't keep your cake and eat it, too. Maybe I could add one over here. 
Yeah, this could work. Yeah, that worked. And another road leading that way. I never really plan out these uh, roads and interstates very well, as you guys can see. As I said, I was just going to have it be a small town. Because it doesn't really look like a big town on the map. That's how I found out about the real Berries Bay, which is actually around this area. I mean, I almost missed it. Like, you have to zoom in really close to actually see the name of it. It's how Google Maps works. Okay, Canadian Highway 3. Yep, that's what this is for Ontario. Like, these aren't really the official ways that the... Canadian highways go. I actually just kind of winged it and made it up. I don't know anything about the Canadian highway system. <laughs> That's where you have me stumped. Okay, so my game crashed on me. So I have to go back in here. Luckily, I saved, so I didn't really lose any stuff at all. I mean, I hate it when that happens, but... Yeah, I just have to add the bus stops all over again. That's basically all I have to do, really, because I didn't really get that far. I haven't even zoned anything yet. I don't want this to be too big of a town. I only want it to be like a couple handful of people, like a thousand sims. That'd be good enough. I mean, it is Canada after all. I mean, I'm assuming Canada isn't very populated because it's so cold. Okay, so I have an idea. Oh wait, no, never mind. <laughs> Let me just add the bus stops like I was going to. One there. One there. And the parking garage. And now the water, towers, this should be enough for what I'm going to build here. Now let's throw in the necessities, city-wide fire station, right there. Let me build a street around it. large police station right there let me build a street around that library right there let me build a street around that because I'm eventually gonna have to anyway and let me just tear down that thing that I accidentally added. And... Huge hospital. Add it right there. Gonna have to add a whole bunch of wind turbines to that, by the way, so... <laughs> yeah. Let me add them right now. Ooh, I had just enough for those. It's how I power the United States to Joe Winko. Wind turbines. And... Yeah. <laughs> Again, talking off the tip of my head, I have not slept at all last night. Because my sleeping schedule is whack. Blame my autism for that. Another symptom it causes. I think I mentioned that in my Virginia bit video I did. Well, the one that I posted. Well, it was one that I did, really. Oh, almost forgot. Um, need to add the elementary school. Oh man, it doesn't take up the whole space. Okay, gonna have to add one on that side then. And the high school. I don't want to put it right next to the elementary school, but... What space does the high school take up?
Then gonna need to add a college. Make sure they're getting enough funding. All the schools are getting enough funding. All the hospitals are getting enough funding. They don't have power though, so they're not open yet. I uh, don't want to give the cops too much funding, otherwise it, they get corrupted. <laughs> that happens in the game. Amazing how true it is, isn't it? Okay, so... We zone a whole bunch of residential lots there. And let me save. I don't think any sims are going to start moving in yet, because I, I also forgot to add the water pipes, now that I think of it. And let me add in this. And this. And now the water pipes. Need to make sure all my sims get their water. Unlike Flint, unlike Flint Michigan. Well, it wasn't that they were out of water, it was that their water was, like, poisonous. That's the thing. <laughs> wow. I feel like a zombie right now. But I don't want to go to sleep now, because it's, uh, what time is it? Like, 10 a.m.? So I don't want to get my nights and days mixed up. You guys see what I have to go through? I mean, jeesh. It sucks, but it is what it is. Could be much worse. All right, looks like the Sims are starting to move in. Again, it wasn't going to be a big... Oh, I... There's one... Shit, did not mean to zone that. <laughs> There's one thing I forgot to add now that I think of it. Forgot to add the medical clinics. One there, and one there. Okay. Throw in another water tower just in case. And still, no one moved in yet. Weird. We need some more power for the school. And we also need to zone more low density residential. Kind of like the Iowa City I made a long time ago. We got it. Okay, so zoned more areas around here. I think that's all the zoning I'm gonna do. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add anything else. We are now we now have a population of six hundred and eighty-four. I mean, I know I want it to be a small town, but that's a bit too small. Let me speed it up and see and see what happens. 
I mean, the Sims should be... Yep, they are moving in. We're now at a population of 2,441. So we should have unlocked the Maris house by now. Oh, yep, we have. Let me put it like right... Put it right there. Doesn't have to be any place fancy. <laughs> we unlock the house of worship right here. I wanna make sure they're all using the highway. Oh, yep, they are. So, that's basically kind of it. I mean, as I said, I wasn't going to have the the region be too... I mean, this city be too big. I wanted it to be, like, kind of a small town, really. And we have um, 3,236 sims, so that's definitely enough for me. Let me take a picture of it, really. I need something for the thumbnail. Alright, that turned out good. So that's basically it. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget to answer this episode's trivia question correctly so you can become the mayor of my next city in the United States of Joe Winko. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed that. Okay, that's it. Peace out. This episode's trivia question. Who was the last to die in Joe Winko's 2010 Sims 2 slasher film, The Mask? Answer this question in the comments. The first person to comment the correct answer will be crowned the mayor in my next city of the United States of Joe Winko. Please also mention the name you want to be listed as. Remember, you must use the same name at all times. That is it. Peace out, people.